Welcome to Kingdom Hearts HD Remix. This is going to be on uh, PC. This is the Epic Games release. I've heard many issues with it, uh, multiple crashes, but hey, these are my childhood games. At least uh, I play the original Kingdom Hearts on PlayStation 2, along with Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 2 on PlayStation 2. And I played 358 over two days on the DS, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think I played Rechain of Memories here and there. I never got completely through it. Uh, right now, uh, I'm just going to probably go through the main three games at the moment. Uh, I will try to do my best to... Um, I, I'm not going to 100% them. I, I know when I 100% in Kingdom Hearts 2 back in the day, that was 100 hours of gameplay, and I don't want to do that right now. I'm not a speedrunner. I've tried speedrunning uh, these games, but there is a lot to do. So, uh, without further ado, uh, this is going to be Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix uh, at the moment. So, let's get started. I will have to lower the volume and everything and talk over, um, oh, give me just a moment here. Whoop. Give me a moment. Oh, uh, why are you not capturing, please? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, I will have to capture or lower the volume of the songs um, because, or at least talk over them. Unfortunately, I don't want to get copyright striked. Uh, that that would not be good. I am a very small YouTuber, so let's go ahead. New game. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do proud mode. Uh, Proud Bone isn't too difficult, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start with that. Um, I think manual rotate is better, and uh, no, auto, sure. Oh, and I am using a PlayStation 4 um, gamepad. Mainly because it just reminds me so much of the PlayStation 2 one. Uh, it, it feels better. I've tried playing this with a uh, keyboard and mouse. It felt awful. The only good thing about that is like if you were speed running, um, the, the camera controls are a lot better. Other than that, I don't think it's that great. But let's go ahead and start off. Now, if you're unaware, this um, whole series of games has to start off, or like, it goes with um, you're following Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Sora is uh, a original character on Kingdom Hearts. Um, the rest of them are basically Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters. So yeah. Uh, Let's just have some fun and uh, watch this game and play through it. Now, I've only just noticed this, but it looks like the aspect ratio is a little bit off. And it's not just the... Oh, okay. There we go. Now it's actually full screen. Again, I will have to... I, I might just skip this, unfortunately. I don't want to talk through the whole thing. I will definitely lower the volume though. Give me just a moment here. I don't want to get copyright striked on those. Okay. But yeah, uh, this is the whole uh, beginning sequence. Really good for PlayStation 2 era graphics. Uh, the gameplay itself, though, uh, this is the final mix, the HD version. 
So it does look a lot better, but it gets kind of kind of chunky. <laughs> They do a lot of uh, shortcuts with the mouth movements and the eye movements uh, during like in-game uh, cutscenes. Sometimes they'll have like full fa uh, face animation, and sometimes you'll just have like a face with textures, <laughs> and the textures are super chunk, like uh, pixelated and everything. But hey, PlayStation Two, what are you gonna do? But yeah, this is a beautiful cutscene. If I'm not mistaken, this song, if you do want to look it up, uh, is Sanctuary. Like the name of it is called Sanctuary. I think. I might be thinking of the name of the ending song. But yeah, we're just about to go ahead and start, so I'll uh, raise the volume here for us. Make sure I click into the game. We'll go ahead and start off. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. As you can see, in game is a lot different. So much to do, so little time. Take your time, don't be afraid. I might try to do voices here. Uh, the door is still shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? It's basically the tutorial of the game. Now here, uh, you do get to choose. Uh, power sleeps within you. If you give it form, it will give you strength. Choose well. Now, basically, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for telling me how to jump. Uh, so it's going to have you choose two things. The first one is what you want to prioritize, uh, either strength, defense, or magic. The second one is going to be what you're going to... Uh, I don't know, what's the opposite of prioritize? <laughs> Uh, deprioritize, I guess. Uh, so, like, if you choose magic first, uh, magic abilities will, um, once you level up, they will be prioritized and uh, you'll get more magic points, magic abilities. And if you pick defense second, then you'll get lower hit points, uh, lower defense stats, stuff like that, lower defense abilities. Uh, that's how I usually start, uh, mainly because speedrunners do it, and I watch a lot of speedrunners. But um, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to do that. So go ahead and pick these. The power of the mystic, inner strength, a staff of wonder and ruin. Is this the power you seek? Your path is set. Now, what will you give up in exchange? And we'll go ahead and give up defense. The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends. A shield to repel all. You give up this power? You've chosen the power of the mystic. You've given up the power of the guardian. Is this the form you choose? Now all of this is basically like it, it is a tutorial and it's a dream state uh, you're not like uh, this is just basically Sora is sleeping and this is his dream this is his premonitions if you will you've gained the power to fight All right, you've got it. Use the power to protect yourself and others. 
Yeah, I'm not going to read those. There will be times you will have to fight. Keep your light burning strong. Oh, no. Please, game. It's terrible. Okay, I'm a little rusty on this. There we go. Now, another co cool uh, tidbit on this game. You don't really want to mash your attack buttons. Um, you want to do one each time. I'm so used to as a kid, I used to mash it all the time, but if you actually time your attacks correctly, you'll get better DPS or like, uh, you, you'll get more swings per second basically. I can't open it. The light shines down from the heavens. Oh. Ooh, the door's being built. Oops. Okay. Just gonna. Typically, you have to break that. Yeah, it's gone now. That's weird. The door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Okay. Um, This is where you get to just choose how fast you level up. What are you afraid of? Getting old, obviously. What's more important to you? Friendship. What do you want out of life? See rare sights. You're afraid of getting old. You want friendship. You want to see rare sights. Should be morning. Your adventure begins at dawn. As long as the sun is shining, your journey will be a pleasant one. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near. So basically what I just did there is... Um, there's three level settings that you can choose from uh, with those questions. Uh, if you choose all the t uh, like prom prominently top uh, answers, you'll begin at dawn, meaning you'll level up fast in the beginning but slow down at the end. If you pick m predominantly middle answers, uh, you'll I, I think it's just like uh, afternoon or something like that. Uh, and you'll just level up uh, like a straight curve all the way through from beginning to end. And then predominantly lower, uh, like the third answers, then it, your, be your story begins at evening or night. I can't remember exactly what it says. I never chose those. But uh, you level up slowly in the beginning and then um, like after level 50 or level 60, you start leveling up a little bit faster. Oh, yeah, that's it.
<clears throat> More heartless. What are these? These, these shadows are so small, I can't do the whole, um, like, jump and kill them. I wish I could. It's a lot faster. Move into the light. You can save here. I'll go ahead and save. The light will show you the path, basically, is what that just was. Go ahead and save. Like I said, I've already played this before. In fact, I think that was one of my early speedrun attempts. I might just override that file, because it's terrible. And as you can see, we have three MP bars, which is actually pretty nice to start off with. But look how low our health is. The closer you get to the light, the greater your shadow becomes. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It was basically a one and a half cycle. I think you see this boss three times in this game. But don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget to subscribe. Sorry about that. And please like and uh, hit that notification bell. You are the one who will open the door. Small segue. Um, I do st stream on Twitch, uh, usually either on Sundays or Saturdays. Uh, they are usually D&D streams. So if you like that, why don't you come join me? Okay, so now the uh, tutorial section is kind of over. I'll let this go ahead. <laughs> Give me a break, diary. Sorry, you lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, the stool's black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow. Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that? Real talk, though. Like, have you ever had one of those dreams that you just wake up and you're like, was that a dream? I told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Mm, well, I'm happy here. I feel like that's such a weird question. Do you ever want to go back to the place that you have no memories of? No. <laughs> At least not me. I want to see them all. So what do 
are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Oh, the resident, um... Is he technically an antagonist? I think so, he is. Or he's like the anti-hero. His role changes like f so many times. At least in the first game. In the, s uh, in the second main game, his role actually switches back over to, Hey, I was possessed that all the time. Uh, could, could, can you guys help me? <laughs> Alright, so we have to complete the island tasks. These are basically just, hey, go gather these things, bring them back. You can do it. Pretty simple gather quests. Don't think you have to talk to her. Need a log. Oh, that's not part of this one. Ah, uh, what is it? Log, mushrooms... Oh, no. Log, rope. Oh, come on. That was terrible placement. Ah! Guys, I'm bad at the game. Oh my god. Uh, there's a cloth up here that we need. I know that. I just can't play this game right now. Kind of sucks. Okay. Usually you can just uh, hop up there. What is... Okay. Now, you can, uh, like practiced your fighting skills by fighting these uh, three people along with Riku, but Riku's a little hard if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it's circle. I might change it to where circle is the command button and, er, yeah, command button and X is jump. Because um, it's just really weird right now with how it's set up. At least in my opinion. Actually, is that like how I normally play it? Can't remember. Um. Yeah, that's technically like correct. Oh well. Oh yeah, I was gonna read those. Oops. <laughs> my bad. I kind of just want to get off this island. Out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a rat take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Conquer it. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Carrie, thanks. Now, what's great about this is, um... 
I have never played the third game, like Kingdom Hearts 3. So this will be, like, once I get over there, I will... It'll be a great experience, at least for me. So does that does that mean Riku just shared that with Sora? And that's why their lives are intertwined? Ooh, Disney Castle. Now I don't think you ever actually get to go here in the first game. I think that's uh, only in a second game, or second main game, Kingdom Hearts 2. And really, you don't do much in the second game in that castle ex except for go back in time. Spoilers. I love that little gag. Huge doors. Actually, no, it's just a little tiny one. How could he not tell that nobody was sitting in that chair from, like, the moment he walked in? It's gold. He would be able to tell if somebody was sitting there. I do like how in these games, Goofy is like supposed to be a guard, like the king's guard. Hey there, Donald. Good morning. Since we are on proud mode, I might have to grind a little bit. If I do, I probably won't record it. Basically, because I can be really boring. You messed up. All right, back to the island. We have to get an egg, a couple fish, some mushrooms. Uh, actually. Yeah, I think the first Boom. fish, fish, get the first mushroom. What's weird is you can move your camera in this hallway, like now, but you won't be able to later. Mushroom. Little flashback. Followed by more graffiti. Someone is obviously the artist of the group. I think he gets better, though. Whoa. Who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? His arms be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where 
did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Can't remember. Is this well, and some or Xehanort technically or Xemnas? I can't remember. Or is because his cloak is brown and such, is that the master of keyblades? I have no idea, honestly. There's a lot of lore I'm missing. Mainly because I did not play like um uh Birth by Sleep and I did not play Dream Drop Distance either. I know there's a lot of uh, cool things. Uh, let me climb the tree, please. Game. Now we got to race Riku. Uh, we'll go with Excalibur. Why not? There are so many ways you can race, uh, like, win this race. I'm gonna go ahead and cheese it because I like it. I'm captain, and if you win, I get to share the Palku with Kairi. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a Palku with Kairi. Such a dick move. Okay. <laughs> This is how you win. You just go over here. You skip all the jumping and everything. Huh. And then... I typically do these jumps. Oh, huh. typically. Camera kind of messed me up there. Okay. There we go. I won! There was a time where I tried to, like, see if there was a limit to how much you can be ahead. <laughs> Spoilers, there is not. It is pointless to keep doing it. You get pretty stones, and that's about it. Mushroom. I think I usually get that later. Mushroom. There we go. Coconut. I think we only need two. There we go. Now I just need a little bit of drinking water. Easily obtained by going over here. Actually come back here I feel like you have to at one point or another oh well I can't remember what's in this I'm gonna try to get it oh protect chain kind of useful at least on proud mode it is
she later gives you that charm as a keyblade. What? But I got all the fish. I think there's a, a fish out here I can grab. No? Thought there was? They're not? I was trying to check around by locking on. Oh well. There's a few fish out here. Nope, not him. There we go. Third fish. I thought it was only two fish. Oh well. Um, so I'm going to try to keep these down to like around 30 minute episodes. That's not always going to be possible, but uh, I at least want to get over to the new world before I end this one off. Oh, my face got really dark. I wonder why. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. Oh. You know. There we go. <laughs> uh, I can't do that. Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble a brew. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster is far not far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I gotta go check into this. There's someone with a key, the key to our survival, so I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him, okay? We need to get that key or we're doomed. So let's go to Traverse Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Yeah, that was... Uh, Here. What could this mean? That wasn't great, but... It means we'll just have to trust the key. He's all right. Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here. Why does that thing have a eyes right behind him to the left? <laughs> yeah, you can't have a mage without his bodyguard. Gosh, Jiminy, did your world disappear too? It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. <laughs> You're right. World border. 
Goofy is such a treasure. forgot how long this game is like with the cutscenes and all like I said I watch uh, uh, people speed run it a lot and by this time they're already on like the third or fourth world 40 minutes in yeah but hey this is the joy of it I forgot that was in this game. <laughs> I thought it was in the second game. Now I gotta say that the gummy missions in this game are not as fun as the second game. I just can't wait. You basically don't even have to do much of anything. Speedrunners, like, can actually take those gummy missions as, like, a, a potty break type thing. We only get to see, like, this side of the island, or this island. Time you actually get to hear Sora's mom, or parents, for that matter. Anyways, um... Yeah, like, that's the only time you really get to see that island in this world. In this game. The only other time is, like, in Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, I don't speak for Kingdom Hearts 3 because I, like I said, I've never played it. Or BBS or DDD. Riku just standing there. The door is open. What? Oh no, he's possessed. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Won't you come join me? Embrace the darkness. What is that light? Keyblade. Keyblade? Oh, only says it twice. I thought I said it multiple times. So, the reason why I didn't fight any of these before is because honestly, it's not like it doesn't help you with anything. Um, because you can't hit them. You can only hit them when you're actually, when you actually have the Keyblade. The only exception to that rule is when you had the dream weapon in your dreams. Kyrie. Sora.
It's really weird. I never understood that. Sora, have you ever heard of what's called a boss arena? Because you just landed in one. Okay. One thing I never understood about this game is you don't get the scan ability. Until, like, you level up a lot. And scan is you get to see your enemy's health bar, basically. Let's get that potion. I'm trying to do the whole timing. I think I could be faster. Oop, shockwave. I think I missed out on tech points because if you hit his head, you get a bunch of tech points. Which each tech point is like three experience or something like that. I don't know. And that's how the game ends. No, I'm kidding. Traverse Town. So angry. I mean, King Mickey did tell them to do that. Pluto's like, who's this? New person. I don't know, does that to to Sora, does that look like a normal dog? Hey. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go into Leon's shop and er, sorry, Sid's shop, the accessory shop, and save. I think I have to talk to Sid first? I'm not sure. Hey there, how can I? Oh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid, and the name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town. So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps, the name's Sid. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm, guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you come to me. I'll look out for you. All right. Uh, go ahead and save. And we will continue on in the next episode. So... Again, thank you guys for watching. 
uh, on the on the top right here. Oh my goodness, I'm not used to this. On the top right here, you'll see a uh, video that I have selected for you. Uh, probably the next episode, if I can remember that how to do that. And then on the bottom right will be a uh, video that YouTube recommends for you. So again, thank you all for watching. Uh, this is going to be a continuing series. I will go through uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. So yeah, have fun.